fixtures then in the Premier League. These matches were played on January the 30th and the 31st. Okay, so this is uh, in the short form, two matches. The first one, at Goodison Park, Leicester left out Mares amid transfer speculation and they missed him. Everton had Coleman back after almost a year out through injury and Walcott starting for the first time since his move from Arsenal earlier this month. And he made a big impact, opening the scoring, latching onto a smart cross from Sigurdsson and then was again quick off the mark, being first to a header across goal after good work by Rooney. Coleman was quickly into his stride, overlapping on the right flank. And all bodes well for Everton and Allardyce with this combination, Walcott and Coleman. Leicester got a goal back from a Vardy penalty after Rooney pulled back Nadidi. But despite two efforts against the woodwork uh, by Inacho, Everton held on for the three points. Tuesday night action saw Arsenal at the Liberty Stadium. Now, Swansea have been on a good run under new coach Carvajal. Mkhitaryan was on the bench, along with Giroud, who would be on Chelsea's uh, bench the following night. Early action saw Monreal arriving at the back post from a delicate chip by Ozil, and that was 1-0 Arsenal. But Swansea responded quickly and levelled after Mawson intercepted a poor pass by Ozil and put in Klukas, who made it one each. Mkhitaryan entered the fray after the break, but saw little, little of the action, as the excitement was with Arsenal's defending, which was comical at best, as Czech made a real hash of a clearance and Ayu took advantage to make it 2-1. And it was soon 3-1, as Klukas met Ayu's cross from the byline, with Czech motionless as the bar hit the reef of the net. Sorry, the ball. <laughs> when Wenger was pragmatic and maybe hoping things will change with the arrival of Obama Young from Dortmund. I think not. Arsenal are a very average side with a manager being way past his expiry date. Best goal, it's got to be Walcott's second. 